Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use a feature in Excel where you have a pie chart that has a lot of small slices and aggregate those small slices into a column chart here. So if you have to use a pie chart with a lot of different series of data, a lot of pieces of data, which is not advisable, but if you have to do it, and you've got a bunch of these little series of data and maybe you want to aggregate that into one big slice instead of having all these middle slices and have it look like this where you have this particular big slice be a combination of these particular groupings in a when you think about it this would be a stack column chart you can do that actually uh, there's a you can either do it like this or have it into another pie chart but it's kind of a little, a little redundant to have uh, one slice of a pie and have another pie chart with multiple smaller slices so but to social variability in your chart I'll show you how to do that and make a slice into a stack column chart so let's see how it's done now I have my data here and I can just select anywhere and go to insert under the pie chart and select the bar of a pie All right so this creates the this combination here let's make this a little bit bigger I will delete the legend here. We don't need that. And you now you notice that we have our slices. Now, I kind of arbitrarily uh, set these slices uh, based on the order. And let's say we don't really want that. What we can do is format a little bit. So I'll go to Format. And under my Format Selection, we'll have our Format Chart Area. Let's go to, well, actually, let's select this. This Right now, I'm selecting the chart, so we're formatting the chart area. Let's select our data within the chart. So now everything uh, is highlighted here. Now we are going to format our data series. So there's a couple ways that we can split the data. We can see right now, by default, it's split the data in position. And it's allocated seven values in that second plot. So the items here if I can if I can hover over this you'll see this is item 13 this is item 14 we have uh, item 15 16 17 well 18 and let's see what, what this one is this one's 19 right and 17 is probably very very small right and so it's allocated the last seven when you think about it we have 13 to 18 right so it's allocated these seven for that last slice and let's say we don't really want to do that we don't want to do it by position right what we can do is when we click on the drop down there's different ones you can choose from you can have it do the value and what value it is it indicates um, if it's less than a certain value let's say that we want all the pie slices um, in this particular column that are less than no, 2,000, right? So as you see, it's going to put everything that is below number five, and it's also going to put this uh, item number four. So if I click uh, tab or enter, now it should have done that. You should see only item five. Let's click on here, item five. Oops. We have item five here. Let's hover over this and see if it brings it up. Item two, item three, and item five, right? Two, three, and five. Oh, it also brought in, of course, item four and item one. Those are under 2,000. So it's made all those as part of this stack column. Now that's a lot to read too. So maybe we don't want value. Maybe we don't want value. Maybe you want percentage value. So this is the percentage value that's uh, less than 10% of all of this, right? So if we did it that way, well, maybe we'll make it 20%. Or let's see what happens if we do 20% tab. Let's see what it does. Oh, okay. So it's only taken item three and probably item two, the, low, the big ones that are a little bit over 9,000, right? And everything else is added in there, right? Maybe you want it less, maybe 5%, right? And then it will take less. There's also the custom now what custom does is it lets you select it so what I can do is I can maybe let's select something here let's select the first one right and this first one is item one 
and let's make that in, let's move that into the first plot. All right, so now item one is moved into the first plot here. You can see that. So there's the way that we can do it. If we if we want to kind of customize it, we can do it that way. And uh, let's control Z to undo that. Or maybe I'll just uh, go back and select uh, value, right? And then I'll just select something that is less than a thousand, right? Press enter, All right? And so everything that's under a thousand goes to the second plot. Now there's other configurations I can I can do here. I can I can adjust the plot size. So this second plot size right now it's at 75% of that. Maybe I don't want the pie to be as big. I can increase it to something large. Let's say 150. Let's do double. Press tab. Now you notice that it's a, it's a lot bigger. So we can do any highlights of the labels a little bit better here. Now this gap width is just the gap width between the pie and the column. So if I move my slider here, you'll notice that it's kind of moved it out a little bit. Now this point explosion is how far do you want to explode the slice out from the portion of the pie. So if I click on my slice here and move it up, let's move it up to 10%. You can see it as it moves, as I increase it, it explodes it up uh, that accordingly. So that's the way that we can configure some of those attributes of this particular chart. Now let's let's make that back to zero. Let me select my slice here and make the pie explosion back to zero. Whoops, I have to select. Let me select that particular pie slice and press zero, press tab. Now the other thing we're going to think about are labeling. So I can label my particular slices and the columns. If I right click and go add data labels, now you notice that there's actually some labels here and there's things that I can do to make, kind of make it a little bit more easy to read. Uh, let's say we, at first I had that, that black background. If I chose my formatting, oops, my design, and select my background here as, or this template style, uh, there's a couple of things that I probably want to change to kind of make it a little bit more easier to read. Let me delete that uh, legend. Maybe I want to explode these out. If I select on the labels here, and then I'll have my format data labels option available. Let's see what I can do with some of the label options. Select on that. I can have a leader lines. If I move things out, it, let's say this is best fit right now. I've moved. If I move these to the outside, right, then I would have. Uh, this looks okay actually, but let's say these are too close. Maybe I want to move one out. So if I had this available to move out, let's say I click on once. You see everything selected. Let me click again. If it's selected to the 27, no. Let's move this out a little bit here. Now you notice that there's a leader line there in this, that line that indicates where that particular portion of the stack column the number is referring to. If I move this out, let me move this 27 out a little bit. So you notice that you know when we create this type of chart, it is a little bit more challenging to work with because there's a lot of data in there. But if you had to create something like this, you know, maybe your boss is telling you to create something like this, there are, are some things that we can do to make it a little bit easier to read. So there's these leader lines here with the labels. If you had them all scrunched in, uh, you can actually adjust them if I click on my label options. You can see there's a lot of things we can do. Uh, in addition to the value, you can put the percentage down so you know which percentage of this. This is all 22% for everything in this stack column, but each, uh, each individual one also shows you which percentage is it part of that particular slice, right? So let me move this particular thing up here so it looks a little bit better to read. So we have that really small slice here, which is 0%, but it's probably 0 point something percent, which is this value of 27 out of the total. So there's the way that we can take small, a bunch of small slices in a pie and kind of combine them or aggregate them together into another chart that's part of the pie chart. And we did it as a column chart. Now, one thing to note is there is another option here. If I go to change chart type, you notice if I click on pie, there's also this option of pie of a pie, as I mentioned earlier. So if I click on that, you'll see that you can create another pie of a pie. So I just showed you one example where we created the column part, but you can also create a pie of a pie. Uh, and if you want to go with this option, that's also available for you. you there's, when you click on it, you have the same uh, parameters where you can change uh, the series and the explosion and the gap width and the second plot size. So there's a lot of things you can play with here if you had to do something like this uh, with your particular smaller slices. So I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.